Neville Goddard was a spiritual teacher from the 20th century known for his teachings on mental and spiritual self-improvement. One of his most famous techniques is the Isn't It Wonderful technique. The technique is based on the idea of assuming the feeling of your wish fulfilled. In other words, you should live in the end result of what you desire. Instead of focusing on how to achieve your goals, you should focus on the feeling of already having achieved them. You repeat a single phrase over and over while constructing a scene of already having your wish fulfilled in your mind. The Isn't It Wonderful technique involves immersing yourself in the feeling of wonder and gratitude that comes with achieving your desires. You don't need to specify what the wonderful thing is. The important thing is to capture the overall feeling of joy and satisfaction. Here's how you can practice the Isn't It Wonderful technique. Relax, find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. Sit comfortably and close your eyes. Enter a meditative state. Entering a meditative state is a key part of the Isn't It Wonderful technique. Take a few deep breaths and allow yourself to enter a state akin to sleep, a state of relaxation and receptiveness. It's a state where your conscious mind is quiet, allowing your subconscious mind to come to the forefront. To enter this state, start by finding a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. Sit comfortably and close your eyes. Begin by taking a few deep breaths. Inhale slowly, hold your breath for a moment, and then exhale slowly. As you do this, let go of any tension in your body and allow yourself to relax. As you continue to breathe deeply, you'll find yourself becoming more and more relaxed. Your thoughts will start to quiet down and you'll feel a sense of peace and calm. This is the state of relaxation and receptiveness that you're aiming for. I in this state, your subconscious mind is more open and receptive, making it the perfect time to practice the isn't it wonderful technique. Your feelings of joy and gratitude will be more intense, and your manifestations will be more effective. So take the time to really sink into this meditative state before you begin the technique. It's a crucial step that will greatly enhance your practice. Feel the wonder. Say to yourself, isn't it wonderful or something marvelous is happening to me now, but you can choose any phrase that evokes a sense of wonder and joy in you. The key is to pick a phrase that makes you feel good when you say IT. Repeat these phrases over and over until you're filled with the feeling of joy and gratitude. Repeating a single phrase over and over is a form of affirmation or mantra. While you're repeating this phrase, you also construct a scene in your mind of your wish already being fulfilled. This is a form of visualization. You imagine what it would look like, feel like, and even smell or taste like if your wish were already a reality. The more vivid and detailed this mental scene is, the more real it feels to your subconscious mind. The combination of the repeated phrase and the constructed scene works to impress upon your subconscious mind the reality of your wish. This is based on the belief that the subconscious mind cannot distinguish between real events and imagined ones. So by immersing yourself in the feeling of your wish fulfilled, you're essentially tricking your subconscious into believing that your wish is already a reality. This process of repetition and visualization is a powerful tool in manifestation. It helps to align your thoughts and feelings with your desires, making it more likely that they will manifest in your reality. So take the time to really engage with this process and you'll be amazed at the results. Repeat the phrase. Once you've chosen your phrase, repeat it to yourself. You can say it out loud or in your mind. The repetition helps to deepen the feeling and make it more real. Repetition is a crucial aspect of the isn't it wonderful technique. First, you need to decide on the method of repetition that suits you best. This could be either saying the phrase out loud or repeating it in your mind. Both methods have their own merits and can be equally effective, so it's really about what makes you feel most comfortable. If your current environment doesn't allow for speaking out loud, don't worry, as mentally repeating the phrase works just as well. The act of repetition serves to deepen the feeling associated with the phrase and make it feel more real to you. As you continue to repeat the phrase, you'll find that the feeling of joy and gratitude becomes more intense and tangible. This is the power of repetition in the Isn't It Wonderful technique. Dwell in the feeling. This step involves immersing yourself in the feeling of joy and gratitude that comes with your wish being fulfilled. 
you're not focusing on the specifics of your desire or how it will come about. Instead, you're living in the end result, experiencing the emotions as if your desire has already manifested. To dwell on the feeling, you need to let go of any doubts or concerns about how your desire will manifest. Trust that the universe will take care of the details. Your job is to generate and maintain the feeling of your wish fulfilled. Imagine what it would feel like if your desire were already a reality. Feel the joy, the gratitude, the satisfaction. Let these feelings fill you up and permeate your being. This is what it means to dwell in the feeling. The more you can stay in this state of joy and gratitude, the more effective the technique will be. This is because you're aligning your energy with the energy of your desire making it more likely to manifest in your reality. So, don't worry about the how. Just focus on the feeling. The universe will take care of the rest. Daily practice. Practice this technique daily, preferably before bed or first thing in the morning. The practice of this technique is not a one-time event but a daily habit. Consistency is key in this process. By practicing daily, you're continually impressing your subconscious mind with the feeling of your wish fulfilled, which can help to manifest your desires more quickly and effectively. The best times to practice this technique are usually first thing in the morning or right before bed. These are times when you're naturally in a more relaxed state and your subconscious mind is more receptive. In the morning, it sets a positive tone for the day aligning your energy with the energy of your desires. At night, it allows these positive feelings to permeate your subconscious as you sleep. During these sessions, take a few moments to relax and enter a meditative state. Then repeat your chosen phrase and dwell in the feeling of joy and gratitude. Don't worry about how your desires will manifest. Just focus on the feeling. Remember, the goal is not to force anything but to allow it. So be gentle with yourself and don't worry if you miss a day or two. The most important thing is to enjoy the process and trust that the universe is working in your favor. Remember, the key to this technique is feeling. As Neville said, feeling is the secret. The more you can generate the feeling of your wish fulfilled, the more successful you'll be in manifesting your desires. This technique can be used to manifest anything from a new job to a new relationship. The only limit is your imagination, so why not give it a try? As Neville said, assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled and observe the route that your attention follows.